welcome to the daily draw today. We have got a fabulous girl with the magic finger. Now, Roll Doll, our Roll Doll daily draws have been so popular. So many of you have been doing them. You did them at the time that we filmed them and everybody's been doing them uh, for months now. So don't forget, if you really enjoy Girl with, the, girl with the Magic Finger, you can go back and have a look in our archive and you'll find lots of diff different Roll Doll books. But today it's Girl with the Magic Finger, so let's get started. So we're going to start the week with this fabulous uh, drawing from the Roald Dahl book, uh, The Magic Finger. I absolutely love this. Look at a look of astonishment. And um, I really like the effect we can get with the with the paint here on on this on this magic lightning bolt here as well. So we're going to start, as always, with the most unbelievably simple shapes. So if we have a look here, this is what we're going to start with. We're just going to start with an L and from that we'll take our drawing. So I'm doing this. I'm going to be using watercolour paint, my watercolour pencils here. So that's what they look like. They look like ordinary pencils, but they're not because what we're putting down on the paper is paint. Um, so I'm going to use my watercolour book. If you've not got watercolour paper or watercolour pencils, please don't worry. Grab any bit of paper you can, crayons, felt tips, anything, and you can draw with us. If you want to try the watercolour pencils, you can get them on our website, The Little Art School. But I am going to start now. Oh, look, there we go. Look, James and the Giant Peach is in my book. Oh, and now we did that Evie, didn't we, last week? So that's another thing. But we're going to start afresh with a nice clean sheet. I love a clean sheet of paper. And we're going to start here. I'm going to find about the halfway point of my page there and just coming in slightly what I'm going to do is start here with a little line there we go how simple is that a little line and then I'm going to take it up to there and it's going to be like an L so we've got an L starting and then I'm going to come in here I'm going to do two small lines which will make her neck and another line underneath now, if I, I'm going to draw another line, but I'm going to put it down here. That's going to be the top of her T-shirt. And I don't want it to be directly under because we've got a sort of real curve here. So if I take the line to there, and then I'm going to go in a bit to there. Can you see what I've done there? And then I want this curve. It's as though she's so shocked. She's leaning back. Oh, these Quentin Blake illustrations are just... He's a genius. Okay, and then we'll take that down there. One, two, just two simple lines. Right, from here, I want to take the line out to there, and then I'm gonna come in here and take it down. And I'm gonna curve that, because that's gonna become the magic finger. Now, don't worry about making mistakes. The reason I'm saying that is because I can see here that I've made one. I've taken that arm too long and the arm's really important part of it because this is all about that finger. So I'm going to take that out there. So I've made that a little bit shorter. It's probably a, not much different in length from there to there. Okay, so that's our base, first basic shape in. And let's, from here, look, I'm going to leave a small gap and then I'm going to take a line and then up. And we're just going to add in a couple of triangles up, down, and out. And that is our first stage. So if you pause now, grab your pencil and your paper and put, put, put in those first steps. What we're going to do now is we're going to build on those steps. So can you see here, if I pull this out... Anything with a red line, we're probably going to end up rubbing that out because that's just our guideline and we can move forward from those red lines with the shapes. But that L really helps us because we can sit her face in. So if I come in here like this, there I'm going to bring up a little chin and mouth. And then I'm going to take it down there. All I'm thinking about here is the shapes. And a little nose. And then up. So that's a start for us. And then I'm going to pop in this eye. It's just a curve. 
with a dot. I might take that up a little bit there. I'm going to add with mine a little bit of a smile. <laughs> I'm sure she would have had one. Here we go. There we go. Let's turn turn that down. And I'll just start the hair. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So I'm going to leave the L in for now because I can rub that out later. But what I will do here is take the chin down and the neck in. So I'm going to get rid of that little line there. You see, already she's starting to come to life. Now this line here, we'll keep that exactly as it is. But at the back here, let's just change it slightly. Just loosening it off and then we can rub that line out. There we go. Now here, these two lines at the bottom, we're going to turn those into her jeans. And I want to come in there like that. Take a line down and a line there. We can then rub that line out. This line is actually coming down there like that. So we'll keep it. Now that's going to be remain unchanged. But all we're doing here is just adding in that shape for a hand. People get in a right flap about hands. No need at all. Look, all we're doing is coming down there up magic finger one two and that's it that's the hand now can you see here rather than it being this really super straight line that we've put in what we're going to do is just curve it slightly so that we've got a little bit more of an edge to it not much really not much at all it's probably gone a bit exaggerated there you don't need it that much of a curve and that is the second stage, easy peasy, eh? So let's move on from there. Pause here, get those steps in, and then we'll finish it. So you can see we've only got a little bit left to do here. Just we're gonna put, we're gonna use our rubber and get rid of that L, that wonderfully useful L that we had there, and pop in some little lines here that we're gonna use for her magnificent hair coming down don't worry about them all being exactly the same I'm definitely not okay we've got her clothes in but we do need this second hand so we're gonna go from there down and all you're doing is thinking about the shape to there And we'll put those wiggly shapes in. Now, with the lightning bolt here, we just want to put a little bit underneath. So we're making it bigger. And that is it. And that is our drawing finished. So we can start our painting. Now, I'm going to start by just showing you um, here's my bit of scrap paper that I'm, I use all the time when I'm experimenting with things. I'm going to show you how these watercolour pencils work. So if I, I'll show you what we're going to do on the um, this lightning strike. What I can do, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go further out. I'm actually going to use two blues, a little light blue, and then the dark blue. So I'll go out with water. You see, there's my water. Start to touch the light blue. And then when I touch the dark blue, it will flow out. Can you see, especially if I tip, can you see? That is the magic of watercolor. And these watercolor pencils are just such a brilliant way of using watercolor. Now, when we're doing a little face and hands, if I go like this with the red, it'll be super dark. That's actually the color that we want for her T-shirt. And there's two reds in the packet, in the little art school packet, which you can use. That's the other one, it's more of an orangey red, you see, and that's the red we want, it's a kind of pinky red. Now, instead of pressing hard like that, if we just put a little tiny bit in her cheek there, and then we go down and we put the yellow in, watch this. This is what we're gonna do. Turn the cheek, and then we get, we've got that bit of pink that we can use, and then we touch our brush into the yellow of the hair, and add a touch of the yellow and do you see we get a pe I probably went too much of the yellow there we get a peachy bit so we're going to try that we'll try that first let's put that aside I'm going to put in a little 
bit of red for a cheek, and lots of yellow for the hair. Oh, I love these pencils. Now, if you use the pencils just on a bit of ordinary paper, if I find just, you know, like that kind of paper, just very thin paper, they won't work because as soon as you put the water on it, the paper just crumples. So that's why having the um, watercolour paper is so important. The right kind of paper for the job. Right, now let's see what if we can do this. What I'm going to do... Got my pink. I need to really get some water on my brush so there's nothing but water. Take that out. I'm trying to avoid the eye. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the yellow. Oh, so little to get that really subtle colour. Now, while I've got that on my brush, and take that out to each of the hands. And I've got the hands done as well. So that will take a little while to dry, but not long at all. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to come in and put in the jeans. And I've pressed quite hard there. Okay, now let's. Uh, this is a real opportunity here to use the magic of these watercolour pencils. I've got two blues. I've got a pale blue, like a cerulean blue, we call it, and a darker blue. This is very intense, this blue. I'm going to start by going around the edges of the lightning bolt with this really dark, intense blue. You see, I'm not being particularly neat, am I? I'm just getting that down. Now I'm going to take the light blue and I'm going to go on quite lightly here around the edges like that. Now it doesn't look great, it doesn't look that good, does it? It just looks a bit messy. Whoa, watch this then. Right, I'm going to take my paint and I'm going to start just with water. So that's just water on the outside. Then as I go in, I'm catching bits of that, that pale blue there. I'm going to do this all the way along this side, catching the bits of the pale blue so it just seems to disappear into nothing can you see into the water right now as we take this in further in towards that dark blue the minute it touches the dark blue watch it watch this the minute that touches the dark blue it's just going to start to flow out and if I picked my sketchbook up and leaned it down it would help the process I'm not going to because I'm quite happy with that can you see how it's really mixing in there Watercolours are just magic, the way they do this. You can't really predict what's going to happen. I think that's part of the joy of it. Right, let's do the same at the top. Can you see how it's flowing down and we get that effect? Right, let's go up here now. On to the cerulean. Put extra water just at the top there. Might take a little while to dry this because there's lots of water on it. Touch it down and then we'll start to touch that bit. And then it'll just want to go up there. Can you see that? It's just desperate to go up into the water as soon as we touch it. You can really play and experiment with this. That's gone a long way. I didn't mean it to go quite that far. Now, if you feel like, like, can you see how I've made a little mistake there? I've just got a bit of kitchen roll. And it will lift it up. Can you see that? So it lifted it up. Artist's best friend, we call this in the little art school kitchen roll. So that's our lightning bolt done. So I'm going to go back now with my ready pink. Just putting that on, putting that on, really colouring that in because I want that to be nice and dark. Then I 
touch my brush to there. Now to finish it off, you could use a, a very thin black felt tip, like a fine liner. Definitely wouldn't use a thick one. A black biro will do the job, or you could just use a black watercolour pencil, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around the eye, there, and just hit around the face a little bit. Pop in those lines for the hair. Just around the edges there. And take it up to the magic finger. And then pop in the jeans. And we're all done. There is our little bit around there. Magic finger. Hope that you really enjoyed that. It's, it's quite, it's always with these very simple drawings, they're slightly more complex than they look, but it's just worth breaking it down into the different shapes and then it all comes together. So if you're a big fan of Roald Dahl, don't forget, have a look back in the, in the uh, right across our YouTube channel. We've got a Roald Dahl playlist, George's Marvelous Medicine, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Witches, uh, James and the Giant Peach, Matilda, they're all in there. So go in there and have a look and, um, and make sure you send us your drawings because we really love seeing them. You can send them in on the comments across our social media pages. We are very social. We're on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. You can see us there. So we will be back tomorrow with another Daily Draw. We will see you then. Mm -hmm.